Abracadabra, and a frog who's a prince. You ain't seen nothing like this before or since. <laughs> Still two pieces. That's the last time I buy a trick from a drawbridge to drawbridge salesman. <laughs> we must have died. So what do you want? <laughs> you can't be a smash all the time. <laughs> ah, for the good old days, playing to Arthur in the nights. <laughs> After a day of banging around in that armor, those creeps would have given a standing ovation to a passing cloud. What I mean is, we're in a graveyard. Well, yeah, after some of the places we played since we've become ghosts, that's the big time. <laughs> Dad, Sooks, it's a graveyard graveyard. I never noticed you studded before. Hmm. <laughs> oh, a castle where we can repose whilst we find a way to get back to where we belong. Walk this way. <laughs> At last, I, Morgan Le Fay, have caught up with Merlin, away from the great beyond where my evil magic cannot work. Now, at last, we shall see whose magic is strongest. He and his dim-witted crony shall feel the full wrath of my great sorcery. We're the Ghostbusters. I'm Spencer. He's Tracy. I'm Kong. We're the Ghostbusters. We're clever, courageous, and strong. Your sleep has been haunted with whispers and rattlings. Your blood has been curdled. We know what to do. Your skin has the creepies. I wonder what's happening. You're safe in our hands. We will take care of you. The Ghostbusters, spirits and demons, beware. The Ghostbusters, wherever you're hiding out there. We know what you're up to. We're ready for anything. We're bold and we're fearless and never afraid. We're always prepared. We're right there with every call. With us on the job, trouble soon fade. The Ghostbusters do it again. Huh? Trace, have you got any special rocks? <laughs> How come he can always do that, and I? Sorry, Trace. Dinosaur's egg. And it's fresh. Tracy, if we can hatch this, we'll be rich, famous. Now, where can we keep it? If we can catch it, we'll be rich. We'll be worth millions! <laughs> okay, what are you two clowns up to? <laughs> huh. Okay. Now tell me about it. And it had better be good. Oh, it's good. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> are you trying to tell me that you two clowns are making a fool out of me, and I'm sitting here with egg on my face? <laughs> 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 uh, go get our next ghost-busting assignment, hmm? Well, that trick didn't work either. 
<laughs> Sooner or later, I'm gonna find the trick that'll take us back to the beyond. How do you feel? Every time you do one of these tricks, you make me nervous. My mouth is dry. Well, no wonder. You're down two quarts of oil. <laughs> We've got to figure a way to get back. Our brother Ghost make a great audience for our magic act. Yeah, before us, what was there? Nothing but heart combos. Come on. We'll go down to the basement and see if maybe some past resident left some magic books lying around. Hold it. No need to walk down in the basement. You're with the world's greatest magician, remember? I'll snap us down to the basement. <laughs> You know something, Merlin? If you put a table down here in the basement, it would look just like the room upstairs. You're watching too close. Come on. So, they have settled here. How fitting. <laughs> I shall work my great sorcery to lock their ghosts in this castle forever. Oh, don't feel bad about that dinosaur egg, Tracy. Probably someplace has a whole nest of them. We'll get another one. Pull over here. Here's where we get our next ghost-busting assignment. You know, you drive this car like you never used a clutch before. You mean to tell me you've been driving this car all this time without using the clutch? How come? Start the message. This is Zero, Ghostbusters. Your next assignment is to send the ghosts of Merlin the Magician and his assistant back to the great beyond. But be careful of certain magical powers. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. <laughs> to the other two musketeers. Get in the car. <laughs> Merlin the magician, huh? Well, his magical powers could cause us a lot of trouble when we get ready to send him back. We better play our cards right. Aha. Uh -huh. We'll let him make the first play, see what suit he leads with. I wonder what suit the famous magician of the round table would play. Rembrandt. He's at it again. <laughs> He would play a suit of armor. Uh, that's pretty good, Trace. Uh, come on, let's go. I like it, Trace. <laughs> Grunk, what yeah. book did you find down in the basement? Oh, nothing but this ancient book of mystical numbers. Oh, slide it down here. Sure. <laughs> ancient book of mystical numbers. The Sorcerer's Handbook. Oh, this ought to tell us something. Gwendolyn. Camelot 300. Zero, zero. I wonder what's mystical about that number. Uh, every time I call it, somebody says, Gwendolyn is in home. <laughs> what's mystical about that? It's Gwendolyn that says it. <laughs> Drunk, if I could ever make a brain appear in your head, I'd be in the Magician's Hall of Fame. <laughs> Let me study this book. So, the ancient book of numbers. <laughs> Merlin will not be needing that. <laughs> Merlin the magician. At last we meet, away from where my evil powers are useless. I wonder what her mystical number is. <laughs> <laughs> 
Her number is up. That's what it is. So, you think you can out-magic me, huh? <laughs> well, Morgan, I've got news for you. You're a dead duck. Take that. <laughs> Never could do that trick right. No good for livestock. Boy, am I glad you didn't say she was a dead elephant. Prepare to spend the rest of your days imprisoned in this castle, fools. Forget the women and children. It's every magician for himself. <laughs> say, uh, if you're not doing nothing later, how about you meet uh, a split of uh, venison pizza, and then we'll take it a dragon slaying, huh? Don't. <laughs> Forget it, forget it. It looks like it's gonna rain. I don't want to ruin my clothes. I just had them pressed. You like this outfit? I like yours, too. <laughs> now, listen. Let's be very quiet so we don't tip off Merlin that we're here. He can't use his magic on us, see? I say let's just forget about the whole thing and simply wait till a normal ghost shows up. But all I can say is I got a couple of scaredy cats for partners. You mean you're not scared? If I'm scared, we're in Scotland. Crazy! Well, you cut that out. Look! Excuse me. Hope I didn't wake you. Rick, the ghost dematerializer. I'll go get him myself. You two stay right here. Much better. Well, let's hope Morgan won't find us here. Hope not. Okay, Merlin. Hold it right there. Oh, thought you could fool us, eh, Morgan? Well, there's no fool in the world's greatest magician. I can see right through your disguise. I know you're a girl. <laughs> How would you like a bent nose? Hey, hey, that are coming good for smelling around corners. <laughs> are you sure you're not one of my partners? Try your best, Morgan. We'll find a way to get back to the great beyond, no matter what you try. You really want to go back? Yeah, maybe Gwendolyn's sister's home. <laughs> oh, fellas, have I got a surprise for you. Now, smile pretty for the dematerializer. Oh, oh how do I look? Don't look good. 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 Dematerializer. I'll have you back in no time. Just a snap. Well? Did you get rid of them? Let's put it this way. They got rid of the dematerializer. <laughs> they what? The Nevelis. That's right. You should listen, Winnowa. Merlin, you should have never snapped your fingers. How did I know I was going to make the dematerializer disappear? <laughs> Abracadabra. 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 Hocus pocus and all that stuff. The materializer appear. Enough is enough. <laughs> Where were you when I needed you? We've been sitting here for hours waiting for you to figure a way to bring that dematerializer back. You're absolutely right. Yeah. All right, all right. You can rush genius. One of these times, I'll find the right trick. This time, I'll need an assistant. I work alone. And you, sir. You look like the brightest member of this crummy bunch. This way. <laughs> sir? Have we ever met before? I see, this is gonna be a long night. <laughs> sir, pick a card. Any card. So, <laughs> the fool has joined up with the Ghostbusters. Now I can get them all with one fell swoop. But first, I must get them here. pick a card, he makes a career out of it. I'm glad I didn't ask you for the secret of the universe. It's a big blue banana.
banana. That's the secret of the universe, huh? I'd be ashamed to tell anyone. Pick a card, will you? Another secret? It's a note for Morgan. Here, let me see that. Aha! Uh -huh. Morgan says that the dematerializer is up at the old castle. All right, let's go. Wait a minute. Who's Morgan? Uh, some uh, amateur cockamamie sorceress. Does those simple tricks like changing frogs into people. <laughs> and she's an evil cockamamie sorceress. We're going to need all the help we can get. You two, come with us. Oh, uh, sir. Oh, uh, pardon me, sir. Say, if I get myself one of these fuck codes, maybe you and I could double date a couple of Eskimo girls. <laughs> Give it kiss blubber? Listen, I was sailing one time in the water with the nook, and we had a ball. We got to figure out some way to get in there. Why? Are you kidding? Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> well, we still got to figure out something to get in here. Oh, oh, leave that to me. Drunk. I'm astounded. How did you manage that? Easy. Remember when we left before? I left the door unlocked. <laughs> Follow me, Fuzzy. <laughs> Who would have believed that all of them would pay heed to my note? I'll get them. One by one. First, the furry one. <laughs> oh, forces, which powers of evil do shape? Bring to me the one who looks like an ape. Hey, quick, uh, Make that ghost dematerializer reappear. You mean this? The oh, ghost dematerializer. She's got it. And which one of you is stupid enough to try and take it from me? She doesn't uh, give us any easy choices, does she? Well, one of us has got to take the responsibility to make the choice. Who's got the decision? I, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it right here. When my doctor took out my appendix, he made a decision from here to here to here. <laughs> For the first time, I feel like a college graduate. Let me get you this way. How do you do, Miss Sorceress? How would you like to give me that there thing there, huh? Ha! Be gone from me, you pitiful joke. Be gone, be gone, consumed in smoke. I knew I should have never bought these clothes at a fire sale. Merlin, Merlin, help. Cannot resist my will. Look at me. You are in my power. You cannot resist so long as you see my beautiful face. Remembered how to get us back myself. Ready, Grunk? Yeah, as soon as I count the tree. One, two. <laughs> up 
better make it two. <laughs> Adios, Ghostbusters, and thanks. Abracadabra and Clams Organata. Take us away from dear old Terracotta. <laughs> well, so much for the ghosts and all their magic. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm kind of sorry that Merlin and Gronk are gone. I'm, I'm gonna miss them. Yeah, I'm gonna miss those guys too, huh? Now yeah, let's go. <laughs> They're still here. They're what? So they are. Look, come on. Oh, hi, fellas. Hold this. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a dematerializer handy, would you? <laughs> it seems that I don't have that going back trick down to a Pat number yet. Oh, you got Pat's number? I'll give you Gwendolyn's number for it, and Esmeralda's, too. <laughs> Esmeralda's real good. She's got a boyfriend who's always out ringing bells. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, I'm not gonna miss these guys at all. <laughs> 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 hey, Merlin, if you saw me in half, you think I can get an adjusting tournament's half price? <laughs>